When Reverend Rendever came to Creemore in 2007, he was shocked at what he had found. A village that not only sold beer, but made beer right on its main street. To get a better perspective, it was necessary to understand Creemore's rich history. What became Creemore began in 1842, when an employee of the Right Honorable John A. MacDonald, William McNulty, opened a colonization office and small government store. McNulty got brother-in-law Edward Webster to build a lumber mill. By 1850, Edward's brother, George, joined the operation. The mill made Creemore the commercial center of the region, and the town thrived. The railway added Creemore, and according to the Creemore Star, businesses were springing up everywhere. Telephones came in 1908, and the modern age was born. Two world wars and the Korean conflict later... Creemore had come through stronger and better than ever. Then came 1987. I've studied local history and trends of the past 100 years. It's my perceptive opinion that the Creemore Springs Brewery changed the direction of the village's fortunes, many of the lives of residents. Oh, hey. Hey. Oh, hey. I didn't, hey, oh. I didn't, I didn't know you'd be here so soon. Nobody can recognize me, right? I really don't want anybody knowing who I am. I'm a reporter for the Creemore Echo, and I think we get a lot better feedback when everyone has a little something to drink with their morning paper. You know that Creemore Spring is the best thing that ever happened to me because I am for the man that I have ever wanted to be. And I'm the guy that everybody... Woo! But my heart... He didn't think a lot of Creemore Springs. Creemore Springs, you say? Well, I don't know much about Creemore Springs. Copa Comp beer is good. Oh, you say they got a brewery there in Creemore? When did that happen? I just love Creemore Springs beer. My first husband thought it was so great. Like real beer or that fake beer? Made people a little too free. Me and my friends, well, we like to get messed up on Cobaconk, you know what I mean? Well, I remember Granddad had that still over the next line there. But my second husband thought it was wonderful, too. Unfortunately, he had an untimely death. What are you doing later? I'll tell anybody that. <laughs> you and your camera. And he was a pretty straight-living guy, my arm. I guess Creemore Springs is okay. Went to that North America's smallest jail there in Creemore. Or, oh couple weeks till we saved up the bail. You're like my dog over here, you know? I'll tell him. You're paying me in free Creemore Springs beer? God. I don't care what you say, lady. Best beer in the world. Are Hands you down. nuts? Are you nuts? Coors all the way. Coors all the way. Taste it. Taste oh, the best. No, Hands wait. down. Hands get down. Hands here. down, lady. Can't we all get along here? It's, it's, it's just a beer. It's just a town. Don't, don't film this, please! It's Jerry Garcia of the Grateful Dead! I think you're all nuts! Huh? That's why I think Creemore Springs beer has really done detriment to the village of Creemore! Two years later, Reverend Rendever has become a loyal customer of Creemore Springs. The people he tried to coerce to his viewpoint have remained friends and visit him often. Hi. Where's my free beer? Did last night mean nothing to you? I'll just be right back. Hey, dude. Where's my free beer? 